Djurgarten is one of Stockholm's many islands, and it lies just southeast of the main city. Originally it was a royal game park, and while much of the eastern side is now public parkland, the west is now host to many museums and other places of interest. That includes Skansen, a large open-air museum, the Vasa Ship Museum, ABBA Museum, and the Gronaland Amusement Park. My journey to Djurgarten was by modern tram, which sped along the waterfront past the many waiting tour boats. The Blue Gate marks the entrance to the former Royal Game Park, which is well served by paths suitable for both walking and cycling, and there are some pleasant little cafes and restaurants providing refreshments. Initially, the north and south banks are separated by a wide bay used by a variety of leisure craft. Further east, though, the dividing channel narrows to canal width. I had hired a bicycle for, as the best way of getting around the large park. This magnificent building in the park now houses both a junior and a senior school. Since I have two other videos on Skansen, it is not included here. The Vasa is the world's best preserved 17th century ship and the most visited museum in Scandinavia. The lighting in the building is kept quite low, as is the temperature, to help in, pres in the preservation of the ship. The carved detail in the stern decoration is amazing for a warship, but then it was commissioned by a king. The two rows of open ports for the cannon had been a factor in its rapid sinking. Obviously the original sails did not survive under water, but they are represented here in a small-scale replica which also displays the bright colours that would originally have been used for the stern decorations. A cutaway model depicts life as it could have been below deck and also shows the ballast in the bottom of the boat. Next was the ABBA Museum, which provided a lot of interactive background information on their careers. There was a complete section on the Mamma Mia film and its wardrobe. The many colourful, even outlandish costumes ABBA had worn over the years were also key exhibits. A final display was of the massive number of different record sleeves issued and of the many gold discs they had been awarded. Grunaland, next to ABBA, was a compact amusement park which regularly updates its rides to increase their thrill factor as confirmed by the level of screams heard in the park. The rider's fear must have been rising in line with the platforms getting ever higher.
The arms at the top here hold cameras to catch the rider's expressions at the moment of drop. On some rides, it's sometimes difficult to work out which way up the people were. The park also has reinvented an old style wooden roller coaster that intertwines with the other rides in the site and has been given the appropriate name of Twister. The Star Flyer seemed tame compared with the various drop rides. This vertical spinning coaster was named Insane, which I thought summed it up nicely. There was a gentler side represented by the car that could cleverly be steered in two directions at once and another that needed the driver's intense concentration to get it round the corner. Just to the south of the amusement park is a small village of well-preserved traditional buildings. To return to the main city, I could have travelled in one of the special vintage trams, but I decided instead to take the Djurgarten ferry, which efficiently shuttles between Gronalund and Gamlastan, the old original part of Stockholm. This small citadel was originally built as a watchtower for ships approaching the harbour. The sailing boat is a training school with its banner inviting people to sail with them. Rounding the corner there was a panoramic view of the shoreline of Gamla Stan with the tall spire in the centre belonging to the German church. After disembarking, the quayside provided some views back across the water. The octagonal Eric Erikson Music Hall was formerly a church, while this sailing boat is run as a hotel and restaurant. Passing in front of the National Museum building were some of the excursion boats returning to their berths from trips to the outer archipelago. <laughs> 